stand as a people with one song, with one voice, we're a nation. This is Talk Mainland Bridge. It's indeed a duty to be held. Reconstructed by the administration of President Dolame Tinibu. This is the first time by testimonies that uh, it is having this uh, comprehensive rehabilitation. Very smooth, very enduring. Because it's interesting to know that uh, this is done at the lowest cost. Successive administrations came and attempted to end rehabilitation here since it was constructed. But uh, they could not succeed. They couldn't even attempt to, to turn it percent. Uh, but this is comprehensive 11 kilometers done within a couple of months. Uh, no doubt, the Federal Minister of Works, under the leadership of uh, His Excellency Senator Engineer Mwese David Mai, has introduced a lot of innovations, a lot of good spirit, a spirit of industry, honesty, probity, and accountability, in the discharge of the ministerial duties. This is one of the signature projects uh, of uh, the present administration. Uh, of course, we have quite a number of them. Uh, the Honorable Minister has been up and doing, has not been resting, spending days, nights, weekends, public holidays, ensure that uh, there is aggressive uh, infrastructural development uh, that will make uh, Nigeria to uh, contend with advanced countries of the world. It's interesting. I must say that uh, Mr. President means business. Uh, Judging by his uh, track records as uh, governor of Lagos State, his vision, the mission, the accomplishments, and uh, what he has really put in ground, the ball he has uh, set rolling as Mr. President, one can say that uh, the need help is uh, really uh, a reality. Nigeria has uh, requested to continue to cooperate, show solidarity and support to the president's administration. It's really private sector based. I can assure you, pay to you that the future of Nigeria is uh, brighter under him. This is not politics, this is governance. This is what we say is uh, in the work, in the show. It's really showing. Mr. President, thank you very much. And the Honorable Minister of Works, it's been your track record of performance, infrastructure development, as a part of you, with no doubt that uh, you will deliver. And uh, under you, as Honorable Minister of Works, the difference will be conspicuously clear. Thank you for this wonderful moment of the Third Mainland Bridge, being as beautiful as uh, bridges of advanced countries of the world. Uh, we haven't seen nothing. Thank you. This road is leading to our papa. Uh, is uh, really done on concrete pavement. Um, it was uh, done by Dangote group of companies. Uh, one interesting thing about this uh, road project is that it is done in rigid pavement. A uh, lot have argued that um, uh, rigid pavement is not usually smooth and uh, not good for Nigerian roads. But I must say that uh, with the innovation the Honorable Minister of Works has put uh, the area of uh, road construction and uh, rehabilitation uh, with the use of concrete pavement, which is uh, almost a common project, a common concept in the project execution across uh, the nation under President uh, Bola Metinibu. One can say that uh, concrete technology is the best in terms of uh, 
Solidity is the best. Durability is the best. Um, of course, um, areas like um, coastal areas, uh, no, especially in the west, in the east, and south, one can be sure that if it's done with concrete pavement, um, it will live beyond 100 years. This example of what we are talking about. So Nigeria is going to benefit a lot using concrete pavement in road construction. This is an example of that. Uh, here used to be very uh, bad. It used to defy all forms of solutions uh, using asphalt. But now we are using concrete. And the shine is very smooth, beautiful, and I guarantee it's already has. Kudos to President Bola Mejidibu, the man of vision, the man who has track record of performance. He's the, one can say that he's the father of uh, modern democracy, yeah, so going by what he did uh, using Nadeko and bringing about democracy in Nigeria. One can say he played the most prominent uh, role among the surviving legends, uh, the living legends. So there's no doubt that it's coming on board at this point in our history. It is a divine, it's providential, it's really a turning point in the history of governance in this country. What we tell Nigerians is that time for politics has come and gone. It's time for governance. It's time for us to look beyond politics and know the difference that this administration, the leader of administration, is bringing on board the governance tra trajectory. Uh, I must say that um, we are beginning to see a new a new system uh, in infrastructure development in terms of uh, costing, in terms of uh, supervision, in terms of quality assurance, in terms of um, you know the spirit of the of the of the ministry's uh, um, the, uh, workforce. Uh, this is uh, has never been like this before. I must commend the Mr. President, commend all the ministers that are working with him. The Honorable Minister of Works is really an exemplary minister. He has uh, continued to work day and night, he doesn't sleep, uh, even on weekends and public holidays, to ensure that Nigerians will have a reason to be proud of this country, the area of road infrastructure. So we commend him. Thank you very much. We